this video, I am going to show you how to install uh, Kali Linux in a Hyper-V, uh, or the Kali Linux Hyper-V virtual machine. Uh, let me just show you right here. If we look really quickly in here, if this is ever gonna start, I'm just gonna run over to the Kali site and show you where I got this from. I'd already downloaded it. We're going to go with Kali Linux download. And somehow this is not working. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to go to get Kali here. And what we're doing is I'm doing the virtual machines. This is not in a mood, is it? So I did virtual machines here. I popped in here. And then I grabbed the 64 bit Hyper V. So that is actually already downloaded and it's already unzipped. So I, if I flip up with my file manager here in my downloads, this is actually someone else's downloads. So it's right here, this Kali Linux Hyper-V AMD 64. Um, I can go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna open it up right now and just show you one thing we have to fix. So if I open this up, this will not work. Like that's what you actually need to do, but it's not going to work. Let me just pop it open again. I didn't mean to let me exit out of it. And the problem is I have renamed my switches. It's looking for one called default switch. So we need to have a virtual switch in Hyper-V with the name default switch. I guess we should just highlight that whole thing. Hyper-V was unable to find a virtual switch. And that just basically fails the whole thing, which is fine. But we're going to get out of this. And now it's not wanting exit but that's fine so what I'm gonna do is create a virtual switch first so I've already got some stuff running in my Hyper-V manager here those of you that know what this is know what I'm doing I'm gonna go here I'm gonna create a virtual switch just so there is one and I'm just putting in the name default switch and then I'm gonna hit OK so it's just a new uh, default switch and hopefully this doesn't disconnect me well, I should have made sure I did a private connection, but we'll think about this and it lost it and that's fine, but I should have uh, unchecked the box of sharing the thing. Let's go back into it. Let me just check. So when you're doing this, you know, make sure you have one default switch. It doesn't need to be any of this. Like, in fact, you might be better off with one of these. I'm going to hit cancel though, because all I need for now is something called default switch. Okay. Now I'm switching back to my file manager, clickety click, and now I'm gonna go install VM. What happens here is somehow this Windows server wandered into here. It probably just needs to be deleted. This uh, install is going to use this folder as the virtual machine. So once you run this, these files need to stay where they are. It might make sense at this point to actually move them and in fact, I will move them. I'm going to move this folder from the downloads to the documents. And it's just so it's in there. And now I'm going to open that file. This is so I just sort of remember not to delete it because downloads is usually a temporary thing. So I'm in documents. And now I'm going to open this batch file. It's hopefully going to execute. We're all very excited by this. And basically that's it. If we switch back here, now we have Kali Linux shown as running. What I need to do before I start it up though is we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna change its network adapter. For this one, I'm actually just gonna connect it right now. If you're in my class, you're probably gonna want this on WAN switch because you're gonna be using it to attack stuff. I'm gonna put it, well, let's put it on WAN switch. All right, so I'm gonna hit okay here now I can go back into the virtual switch manager and I'm just going to delete this. I need to remove and now it's gone and I hit okay and it probably will disconnect me for a second. Mm -hmm -hmm. And it's not showing me that, it, oh, there it goes. Now we're disconnected and we're reconnecting. By the way, those of you that also know what I'm doing is I'm actually connecting to an Azure machine. All right, so let's go ahead and start this up and I don't need to click and rename it, although I may want to sometime. I'm going to hit connect and then I'm going to hit start. 
So this is actually really slick. This is gonna boot up. Hopefully we're gonna change our resolution. Let me just do that really quickly. It needs to, like it's booting up very excitedly. Somehow it's taken a minute though. This is okay though. Why is it wanting to do that? Let me put this down to three fives. Get it where I can see it, right? We'll do some air wing here. Come on, Windows, give me some stuff. Oops, that's not the one I want. I want that one. That's not what I want to do here either. Okay. All right. So here is the Kali uh, login screen. So. Uh, I guess we're just going to leave this like this for now. For here, I'm going to type Kali, K-A-L-I is the username. And the password, which you can't see, is also K-A-L-I, all lowercase. And that logs me in. Now, there we go. I think what I want to do, I wish I could sort of get this into a better mode here sort of limited on how big this screen can be. But notice up here, I've got like a terminal screen. I've got a Firefox on here. Um, anyway, so this is Kali. I can just open stuff up. It works normally. Command line works normally too. And so I think this is a good way, good place to end this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.